Well, I guess we will get to the Thursday night game. It's not as fun as last week's game at all. It's the Giants versus the Washington football team, the NFC East. Uh, Dion, I'll start with you. I mean, last week we had the Cowboys and the Bucks, an electric game. This game could, could get pretty ugly. Yeah, I didn't know the journeyman was going to go down. What he went down in the first or second quarter. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. When they lose their quarterback, Fitzpatrick. This, this game, and then I thought the Giants would play much better playing against a darn team coming from all the way from the, what, what, what is it, the West Coast or, or what they call that division? I don't know where they call it at in Denver. But these two teams are horrible. Like right now, I thought the Washington defense was going to pick off right where they left off and be totally dominant, and they weren't. But I'm going to pick them this week because the Giants are, are bad. They're really bad, and I don't see nothing – that could make them better no time soon. Yeah, when Daniel Jones has more rushing yards than Saquon Barkley, it's it's not going I'm, well. I'm so sick of Saquon Barkley. Nice guy. I actually like the shoes that he is about to drop. But what? Those Remember are Bo everyone... Jackson's old shoes. Yeah, but, let's just get that straight. Yeah, no, but... Those are Bo Jackson's old knockoffs. So let's get that straight. Yeah, they're partly inspired by it. They look awesome. And I like Saquon Barkley as a person. But, like, why did we all think that he was the next Barry Sanders? And he hasn't done anything to prove it. Well... He's been injured. Yeah, but he's yeah, also yeah, not I, done I, anything I, to prove listen, it. Listen, th there's... I don't know. You, and, and Dion may comment on this. In my... What, I'm 44 watching football? Dion... I'm, Barry Sanders is the only guy... Who can who who truly could make plays without a offensive line? Right. There's one. Right. There's nobody else I've ever seen who can do that. I think Saquon's great, but there's only one Barry Sanders, and he hasn't and, even been close to that right. in it, the it, NFL. Yes. That's my point. It's but like but they have no. no line. I get yeah, it. I get it. Like I think he'd be very good if he got a little blocking. There's only one Barry. I still think he could have a very productive career. Running back he is the most overrated position. Not overrated. It's easily refilled unless you are Barry Sanders. Um, but guess what? The Giants always play the Redskins, Washington Football Club, really good. Uh, I think they play them good here. I think this goes down to the end. I actually think the Giants somehow, both, both these teams stink. I think the Giants figure out a way to somehow win this game. The quarterback's out for Washington. So I'm taking the Giants. I think it's a close game. It could go either way down the end. Dan, what do you think? Uh, so, yeah, Daniel Jones is 4-0 mm -hmm. against the Washington football team in his career. I, the thing that shocked me last week was Washington football team they couldn't get off the field in third down. Like, uh, watching that game, Justin Herbert, they got the ball back with six minutes, and he went 80 yards and kneeled, the, you know, kneeled out the game. He was converting big third downs. I think he went something like 13 for 16 on third down. So I was shocked by that because I thought that was a, a defense that you could be able to you know, bet on. I'm going to take the Giants as well. Just got, because of the Daniel Jones, I don't know why it is. He plays better against them. And the Washington football team defense, like you said, Dion. I thought they were going to pick up where they left off. It didn't seem that way in week one. Is there any hope for Taylor Heineke at all? I actually think he's not bad. I, and also, it's different when, no offense to Ryan Fitzpatrick, right. and I like Ryan Fitzpatrick, but it's not like he is, you know, Patrick Mahomes. Right. So the difference between Ryan Fitzpatrick and the backup is not as vast. Taylor Heineke. You think they would ever bring Cam in, guys? No. Did you say why? Uh, because you can't say no. He yeah, no. I'll tell you why. Coach. I'll tell you why. Well, one because they haven't done it yet, which makes it you know if Ron Rivera is going to do it, he would have already done it. And two, I think Cam's biggest issue now is that he is very, very well liked in locker rooms, and he is a true alpha. He's a former MVP of the league. You can't bring that guy in as a backup. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You can't because that's that divides a locker room. Everyone loves him. And then you have him as a backup. People are going to want him to play. I just don't think he fits that role. And, and you can't dress the way he does being a backup quarterback. Yeah, either. well, he sure. can with what he's accomplished. But Taylor Heineke, for all I know, packed my groceries at the at the supermarket today. I don't know anything <laughs> about him. But based on what Dan just said with the Cam thing, he seems similar to Fitzpatrick. Like Cam's a different guy. Right. Like he, you, you, he can't. He's not dropbacks. So to bring him in, you. It, What's the point? What, are you going to change your offense for him? I mean... He wasn't that bad against the Chargers when he came in week one. Like, he made a couple plays. He's not going to be a great quarterback, but I think in terms of backups, you could do a lot worse.